Well, they've done it. <laughs> they've taken the already amazing F1680 millimeter and they've made it better. Oh, it just sounds so good. Now with the Thunderbirds paint scheme, and man does it look good! That is one of my favorite jets of all time, the original gray F1680 millimeter. It just sounds so good. And now not only does it look better, but we have a few performance upgrades, and I'm excited to maintain this in today's video. Yes, we still have the same very robust landing gear that is amazing and intricate but also holds up very well from the original F-16. Now we have flapperons and I have them programmed into my jet, which is gonna help a lot on landings, I do believe, slowing it down a little bit. And talking about slowing it down, I have reverse thrust programmed into this, so that should be a lot of fun. And while you guys are drooling over this beautiful jet, EDF, you'll maybe notice the keen eye, the very keen eye, may have noticed the attention to detail. Not only does it just look absolutely amazing but that white is not just foam that is painted white to those of you that have been in the hobby for a while will know the benefits of that but if not that's okay it's kind of amazing that they went the extra mile to slap the paint on there that's gonna be way less likely to fade in the Sun and it just adds a next level of detail to this jet the LEDs on this are bright just like the original F16 they look absolutely amazing I cannot wait to show you guys this landing gear going up and down, uh, but more importantly, I just wanna put this thing in the air and have some fun. Today we're gonna be flying on a 6S 4000 milliamp battery, so let's see how that does. Put this in the air and have some fun. Wow, this is a beautiful plane <laughs> on the ground, and I'm excited to see how it looks in the air. You guys know I love my original F-16 Thunderbirds, and I also love my 80 millimeter F-16. This is now a combination of both of the best, and I, I am so pumped to see how this thing does. I'm wondering how fast I can get it in the air. I maybe should have taxied down farther, but you ready, Abby? <laughs> I'm ready. Let's Nervous go. for you. Oh, it's running really well on the ground. Oh, yeah. Whoa, nice. nice. Yeah. And it's up. Okay, she's in the air. I had a little bit of feedback on my radio telling me that the battery felt low. I'm wondering where I put my voltage alarm, but I'm just gonna kind of cruise and see how this does. I've got to really pay attention being a maiden flight. You got your and, retracts uh, up yet? No, not yet. I'm gonna to try to put those up on this next pass, I okay. believe. Just a lot of things to think about on a maiden <laughs> flight. I've got a lot of switches and you know, it's, it's not a cheap plane, so I want it to go well if possible. We're gonna go for retracts right now. Just down to the doors. <laughs> Gotta maintain a little speed here, keeping this guy up. It sounds amazing. It obviously looks amazing. Uh, let's see, I haven't had my hands off the controls yet. Hands off the controls. I even with safe on have some roll going on and stuff, so that needs to be trimmed up quite a bit. Just a maiden flight, guys. This is a maiden flight. We show the realistic approach to a very first flight on this. Nerves and all. <laughs> you better believe. I can tell you're nervous. Listen, listen. We're going to listen on this pass. Oh, it just sounds so good. Uh, there is not much wind at all today. You may notice a little bit of extra movement on the jet. I'm not really sure. Uh, just seems a little extra sensitive and again I still have some some roll going on with my ailerons there so I want to trim that up quite a bit try to get this thing to fly really nice for you I'd love to turn safe off on this flight um, but it's always better to be in ironically safe than sorry they named it really well <laughs> so here's a low throttle pass feels like, oh, you know what? I think uh, I think one thing that I would benefit greatly from on this jet is Expo. That's why I'm thinking it looks a little on the sensitive side. I've been flying with Expo with a lot of things that I fly. I want to turn safe off now. 
Okay, looks good, feels good. No, uh, no weird jerky tendencies, that's always a good sign. This means we should be able to throw a roll at you guys here in just a second. Actually, it feels even better with safe off in my opinion. It looks better. Rolling. Oh, this is nice. That is very <laughs> nice. Wow, okay, so let's give it another roll out here. I am getting some low battery feedback on the radio, so we're just gonna play around for just a second here. I don't want to push my battery too low, but it could just be that I have too low of a discharge rating and obviously it's not going to like that. So, um, telemetry is telling me it's a little bit low. We're going to do one snap, Abby. You ready? Yeah. We'll probably bring it in for a landing. Here's full throttle. Bring it up for a snap. Snapping it. Ah! <laughs> I love doing that on my gray F-16 <laughs> and of course the Thunderbirds too. Okay. A little bit of a sharp turn there coming out of that dive, but that's okay. Oh my goodness, I, I could fly this. I could fly this for 20 <laughs> minutes easily. We're going to go in for a nice roll again out here. Very pretty. Oh, okay. Let's drop that landing gear. I'm actually going to kick safe on just to help me kind of on this first uh, landing. Use a little rudder in that turn. You guys can tell I'm bringing it way down. <laughs> You're really far out. Yeah, and I want to... I'm not going to mess with the flap runs on this. I want to try one one thing that i've not done on my large f-16 or very many things actually for that matter so let's you gotta check your landing gear uh, they're down but i'm coming in oh my coming goodness. in hot right let's just say i'm coming in hot and oh okay oh. and then reverse thrust oh my goodness oh nice that was terrifying reverse thrust. <laughs> yeah. so cool now I should be able to kick that back around. I, I think I threw some goose feathers out of there. Did you definitely see that? did. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, okay. What a maiden. For whatever reason, Safe felt a little bit on the sensitive side. I don't know. That's just how it felt. I probably need a little expo in there. Safe felt like it needed a little bit of trim. I don't know why. But when I turned Safe off, it was flying silky smooth. And uh, maybe it's just because I'm used to flying my gray F-16 and definitely my, uh, I think it's a 70 millimeter F-16 Thunderbirds without safe. I never fly that with safe on. So um, it flies great without safe. What a great main, awesome. So my battery is at 3.75, 3.77 volts per cell. And I always forget, you know, I, I, I spoil myself going flying uh, things that can get a 15 minute flight time. Uh, when this, poor guy because my big gray one only gets like a three and a half minute flight time and it just never feels like enough and I basically pushed that to what like four and a half minutes Abby yeah, something you like push that. It. <laughs> well if you remember my maiden of the gray f-16 it didn't end well and I wanted this to end a little better so <laughs> there you go I was uh, surprised you landed without passing to check all your landing gear well I uh <laughs> yeah I maybe should have but I was <laughs> really focused on because it's one extra step, right? So here's the interesting thing. To be able to bring this in with flapperons on, uh, so it's a lot, a lot to think about when you're landing. You drop your landing gear. You have to think about the approach. Kick on the flapperons, which I did not do at all during this flight. And then when you touch down and you're focused on, you know, making sure it's holding straight, throw that switch, throw throttle back up, which is like not what you want to do. You're trying to land and stop, so you normally don't do throttle. And then you hit the brakes, so to speak, which is that reverse thrust. And hey, it worked really well, goose feathers and all. That was fun, that was really fun. Just, there's just like a lot to think about. So kudos to the guys out there that just, it just comes naturally. And hopefully someday I'll be there too. Uh, but that was a lot to think about on a landing and I, I just didn't want to throw the wrong switch, you know? Throw safe instead of landing gear. Throw the landing gear instead of the <laughs> reverse thrust. Throw a reverse thrust while you're coming in. You think it's flapperons? No, no, no. You think you're putting up your landing gear and you put reverse thrust? <laughs> That'd be terrible. Landing gear should be going up, but the plane goes down. <laughs> oh, that would be awful. Oh my god. So I'm going to call that a successful maiden, just because you guys didn't know about the eight extra switches I was thinking about in my brain up here. So, hey, that was a lot of fun. Uh, know that this is actually it's on pre-order i believe this just came out if you're watching this video early release you can pre-order it through our link in the description box below and yes that does help to support our channel and our family uh, you guys are amazing supporting us this is an amazing jet it's not necessarily the best first edf for everyone out there. If you're interested in a trainer or something, let us know in the comments. I'll do my best to reach out to you and let you know a great ready to fly trainer for under $250. I mean, they exist all day long. 
really good stuff that can help you step up to something like this. Definitely didn't happen for me overnight, uh, but man, this is fun. I can't wait to put it back in the air. Hopefully share another flight on the channel with you guys. And uh, hmm, yeah, I'm Abby, when we get home, I'm putting my leaf blower for sale on Marketplace. And I'm just gonna step outside with this from now on. Oh boy. <laughs> we'll take care of it and you people know. don't talk about us now. They'll talk about us when you do that. Yeah. <laughs> I just love the landing gear on this thing too. What an awesome, awesome addition to the fleet. I know a lot of you guys are drooling, and rightfully so. Uh, well, as much fun as this is and as beautiful as today turned out to be, there's only one that I can say thanks for everything, all of the above, God. I am very grateful and I uh, just can't believe we get to do this and share these experiences with you guys and um, I'm ever so grateful to God. I also want to say a massive thanks to our Patreon supporters because we couldn't do what we do as often as we do it without your amazing support. You guys are the true backbones to our channel. You keep the fun going not only for us but for thousands, tens of thousands, honestly hundreds of thousands of people at this point all over the world get to enjoy some RC Sailor family friendly content because of you guys. So not only do I say thanks, but I'm sure that if all these people around the world could say thanks to you for donating to our channel to keep this content rolling, they absolutely would. So I say thanks on their behalf. Now, I've had a blast with my gray F-16. I've had a blast with my smaller, but still amazingly fun F-16 Thunderbirds. Again, I think that's a 70 millimeter, it might be 60, I can't remember. But it is a blast. It's a little cheaper than this. And the last time I flew it on the channel, I did some high alpha Harrier flying. Now, I don't know if I can do that with this one. <laughs> I'm Maybe sure you someday. Can. Maybe someday, but until then, why don't you guys go check out that video? It's absolutely worth your time. A uh, very proud moment of mine and a lot of fun. So that video will be popping up right about now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you there. Bye.